I'm Callie Heisman, Developer Advocacy Director here at DocuSign, and today we're talking about the new DocuSign Monitor API. So today I'm chatting with Nick West, Lead Engineer on the new DocuSign Monitor API. Nick, welcome. Hi, Callie. Great to be here. I'm excited to have you here because DocuSign Monitor is something that I have been really looking forward to talking about. It's something totally new, an API departure for us, since it's not just a new feature on eSign. I think a lot of users from a whole bunch of different backgrounds, from security and IT and developers, are going to be really excited about using this. So let's get into it. Can you tell us a little bit about what Monitor is? Sure. One of DocuSign's top priorities is our customer security. DocuSign Monitor helps protect against insider and outsider threats. It does this um, via a rules-based system that looks for anomalous behavior and other various machine learning techniques that are continually uh, watching your sort of user behavior event stream and just looking for unusual things. Can you tell us a little bit about the kinds of insights that customers can get out of this? Sure. Customers can get real-time alerts uh, for suspicious or unusual usage, or additionally, the monitor dashboard, our UI, allows customers to search around in their data looking for additional insights. Sure. So let's talk about that. Um, how would we go about pulling this data you know, out of the DocuSign systems? How do the customers get this? Great question. So the API itself is actually pretty simple. It's a single uh, Git endpoint, and there's only one endpoint involved because it's not actually terribly complicated. You're effectively saying like, hey, I'm this organization and here are all my credentials. And it just gives you, starts giving you the data back. And from there, you can either put it into basically any modern database because it's just JSON blobs or it works quite well in Splunk. Very cool. So I've got my streaming API endpoint and it sounds like you talked about, you know, DocuSign has the UI that's available for you to use, but you can also put this into Splunk or somewhere else. Can you sort of walk us through that? Maybe show us the UI and how we might you know, take a look at the data? Yeah, sure. Let me show you the UI uh, first to set a little context, and then we can go ahead and talk about the uh, API itself in action. The UI itself has uh, summary statistics uh, for envelopes that have been sent recently, and it'll also show you a really cool world map of where these events are happening. It makes it a little easier to understand if things are happening in places they shouldn't be. And Beyond that, uh, you can see your alerts that are enabled for your product and how they're configured, and what alerts have uh, been executing or fired recently. Are there any other types of alerts that we can look at here? Yeah. Another alert that's pretty interesting is when someone uh, disables recipient authentication on an envelope. That's the sort of thing that, generally speaking, accounts don't lower the security level of certain settings. And so when that happens, and specifically in this case, when recipient authentication is disabled, we actually trigger an alert that's presented to the administrator. So they sort of uh, have more visibility into what is actually happening in the system. And so there are several classes of alerts like that around when password strength is reduced or other things like that are sort of dialed back that we try to bring it to people's attention that this is generally not something that is done lightly. And so everyone needs to be aware that it's happening. And Nick, can you maybe show me an example of how I would use the API just to get the raw data itself? Sure, I'd love to. It's actually not too complicated. So, you know, this isn't an API that you should be intimidated about. The API itself, the parts that are happening here is we effectively go out, we authenticate and get a JWT token, and then we re request uh, our data with this JWT token. The data we get back after a request is a result object that contains a cursor that points to the next part of the data stream to get our next batch of data, because we can't pull it all at once, but we can pull chunks very quickly. And then the actual data itself. And if you look through the event here that's downloaded, it's basically a timestamp, an event ID, and a whole bunch of other metadata and the actual event itself of what happened. You know, And an event basically corresponds to a user performing some sort of action, either via our UI or our API or things like that. And how do I actually download this? I'll bet that's pretty simple too. Yeah, uh, the this example is actually up on Dev Center right now. So one last question I have is, if I do want to use this and I want to start playing around, is there any type of DocuSign account that I need in order to be able to take advantage? You just need to have an account that is a member of an organization. Once you have the DocuSign Monitor uh, entitlement, you can go ahead and download the data. All right. Thanks so much, Nick, for being here. Thanks, Kelly. It was great.
And for the developers who want to try this out, the new DocuSign Monitor API is available now. And there's documentation and examples on our developer center. And Nick, to close out, any new releases planned? Yes, we've got configurable alerts coming as well as additional alerts. Very cool, looking forward to that. All right, thanks Nick, and we'll see you all at the next Developer Deep Dive. If you like that video, be sure to check out some of our prior videos and make sure to smash that subscribe button.